What's going on, Jared Nation? Brandon Epstein here from the Jump Rope Dudes with another informational video to help you make getting and staying lean super simple and straightforward. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure you check out JRD TV where we have transformational workouts, coaching, and accountability to help you reach your goals. Linked up in the description below or at jumpropedudes.tv. Let's get right into it. Here are five things you may not hear from your trainer, but you're gonna need to know when embarking on creating a fitness transformation. Number one, which no one likes to hear, is that it can take you anywhere between two weeks and two years to create your fitness transformation or to see really significant results. Now I get it, if you're just signing up for the trainer, you're coming in hot, you're motivated, you're excited, but it's really important to set realistic goals before you get started. If you check out the transformation playlist on this channel, you'll see that we've had people go through massive transformations and some people it only takes a few weeks, other people it's taken up to 18 months to get to their goal fitness transformation and weight. The reason being is really straightforward. Think about it, we're all starting at different places and we all have different genetics. So some people only may need to lose 10 pounds to reveal six pack abs. Other people may need to lose up to 100 to get there. We share this not to discourage you, but to make sure you're committed to the long game. We want you to enjoy the process of getting lean. And so you have to make sure you're doing something that doesn't feel like a chore. It has to feel like something that can become a routine that you could do for the rest of your life. The final reason I wanna talk about this point is because people embark on these really hard, intense programs, and maybe they get through the program, but it's so intense and they disliked it so much that they take the next couple months off from fitness. We do not want that to be you. Make sure you find a fitness program that you can stay consistent with so you don't burn out. The number two thing you may never hear from your fitness trainer is that you may never look like them. Each of us has unique genetics, so our body shapes are different, so you may not look like your trainer and you may never look like your favorite fitness influencer. So this is why it's so important to compete with yourself and not other people. Here's how I advise you to compete with yourself. Every one to two weeks, take photos of yourself so you can see the progress in the mirror. Number two is to measure your progress by inches or centimeters. So get out a tape measure and measure your chest, your arms, your thighs, your hips. Because what you're gonna see as you go through this transformation, some of the areas of your body are gonna grow like your biceps or your booty and other places are gonna shrink like your hips and your waist. So this is a great way to over time track and see how you're losing inches or centimeters off the places of your body that are holding fat and you're gaining muscle in different areas. And finally, don't overthink this, but you should weigh yourself every one to two weeks because although it may take time to actually see that scale move as you start to build muscle and lose fat, because of course, muscle weighs more than fat, but at least over time, if you have a lot of weight to lose, you are going to see that weight coming off the scale. The third thing you may never hear is that the workouts you do with the trainer are not really gonna be the thing that's responsible for your weight loss transformation. I recently made a video talking about this, how I was forced to stop working out for over three weeks and I actually lost weight. And the reason being was because I dialed in my nutrition. So even though I wasn't working out, I was still seeing results by being really intentional about my nutrition. The same is gonna hold true for you. The only way you're going to start to see significant results is if you eat in a slight calorie deficit over an extended period of time. That is how you lose weight. We have a great video talking about how to lose weight through your nutrition. We'll link it up in the corner of the video now. Number four, fitness transformations are boring. The fact of the matter is that you're gonna have to do the same thing over and over and over to see results. And so we always talk about the power of simplicity. We say do the thing because there's not so many things you have to do. When it comes to your workouts, you can do something as simple as jumping rope, doing push-ups, doing pull-ups, doing air squats, doing planks, and just these core exercises will help create your transformation. And it's not gonna be so exciting, but if you're consistent with these core exercises, they will produce results over time. And yes, when you work with a trainer, they may say that we have some really cool, complicated, innovative workouts for you to do. And the fact of the matter is that these programs may be interesting to you, but if all you care about is creating a transformation, then you may not need to do something so complicated. On the other side of things, if you're trying to be a competitive athlete, that's where the programming and the more complicated and innovative programming becomes more important. The fifth thing I wanna cover is that a lot of times people try to upsell you on the next greatest supplements gonna help you create your transformation. Now, when it comes to supplements, we only want you thinking about supplements after you've mastered your workouts and your nutrition. Only after those have been mastered can you start to incorporate supplements. And when you do, they're not gonna be things that help you put on a ton of muscle or lose a ton of fat. Really, they're gonna help with your recovery so you can get back to your next workout faster. And they're also gonna help you improve your workout. So you might have a little bit more endurance, so you have a little bit more to bring into each workout. 
Now let me close with this. This isn't a video to hate on trainers. I just want you to know that the main reason that you work with a trainer is to get that accountability and to make sure that you have something that you don't have to think about, right? Programming, okay, I do this today, I show up, I do the thing, and I'm gonna do this consistently to get results. But if you don't have hundreds of dollars to spend every month on a trainer, we do have an awesome alternative with JRD TV. In JRD TV, we'll put together our programming. So you show up, you click play, it's gonna give you a fall long workout that you do, and we also are gonna give you the right exercise tutorials to make sure that you're doing these movements correctly. In addition, we have accountability and coaching. So if you have any questions about why you are or aren't seeing results, you can ask us in there. And we'll also be there to hold you accountable to continue to do the thing until you get that transformation. And finally, we offer all this for less than $15 a month. And we want you to be able to try it out before you're committed. So you can get in free for 14 days, give it a try. If you don't like it, cancel it. You won't be charged anything, but at least give it a try for 14 days and see if you can start to build some momentum. If you're interested, we linked it up in the description below or go over to jumprobedudes.tv. I hope this video was helpful for you, especially those of you who are just starting your journey. If it was, give the video a like, comment, let us know any questions you have below, and we'll see you on the next Jump Rope Dudes video. As always, do the thing.